Yo, what is going on G Squad? It's me, the Incredible Greek, and today is a big freaking day for Death Battle because we've got two of the most fucking powerful bloody characters from DC and Marvel clashing, okay? you got the Incredible Hulk versus Doomsday, okay? I've been, this has been one of two Death Battles I've been waiting for since forever okay since forever the other one that i'm really waiting for is is uh thanos versus dark side i'm still waiting for that one okay screw attack i'm still waiting for that one but we've finally got this one so it's, it's really hard for me to decide I, I don't i don't know i really don't know who's gonna win this because i love both characters okay they're my favorite uh, type of characters like in, the, in that in that category of characters like strong powerful like physically powerful characters yeah them two pop up in my mind okay so I ain't got a freaking clue who's gonna win it's like I don't know it's like an unstoppable force trying to trying to remove an in unmovable object it's, it's like it kind, of, it kind of falls into that sort of category so I got no clue anyway I'm not gonna waste any more time just flapping my gums let's get on with the death battle so i'm gonna skip the intro because i know all about the characters you guys must have known all about the characters if you don't know then quickly go away look at the intros and then come back here but let's get right to the battle let battle commence A meteor. That's got to be Doomsday landing, then it. Yeah. And he is just slaying everyone, doing what Doomsday does best. <laughs> oh, Avengers! Nice. I like that. Rawr! <laughs> Who's gonna win? I ain't got a freaking clue. Oh, Hulk! Now Doomsday! Oh! Oh! Loving the music. Move that bus! Oh my god. Screw attack! This is awesome! What's gonna happen? Big grey man! Oh look, they took that out of the Incredible Hulk movie for the two car bang bang. Yeah look, he's doing it! Like he did with uh, the Abomination. Hulk. Oh, he's hurt. You break buildings good, but hold break walls. Oh God! Here we go. Oh, oh my God! This is brilliant. Oh! Oh! The arm! Oh. 
See, that ain't going to work again there. Oh, no! Hulk! 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 What power a fight! Today's impossible immortality. This truly felt like a fight between an unstoppable force and an immovable object. That's what I said. Advantage in raw strength, at least at his full potential. But Doomsday could certainly hold his ground. His victories against the likes of Superman and Darkseid prove he can take a hit from someone yeah. strong enough to break planets. And by experience, Doomsday had the speed advantage. He regularly fights foes with light speed capabilities, while that kind of speed is an extreme rarity in the Marvel Universe. In fact, the only foe that fast who Hulk's ever seemed to keep pace with in a one-on-one -on -one match was Sentry. And that wow, was the one who was at his Hulk. So overall, Hulk had strength and Doomsday had speed, but neither completely outclassed the other. At first glance, this one looked like it could go either way. Which means the devil's in the very tiny details. So why couldn't the Hulk's infinite strength just keep rising and eventually overwhelm Doomsday? Well, even assuming Hulk's strength was infinite, his healing factor was not. Don't get me wrong, it can only be overtaxed by hits from absurdly powerful beings such as Zeus or Sentry, mm. whom Doomsday certainly compares. Naturally, Doomsday's crazy strength then started wearing that healing factor down. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. The Hulk may look like a giant green monster, but he's still technically human, and this correctly correlates with his anger. A human being's anger stems from an increase in hormones and adrenaline in the body. Right. However, the brain can only produce these chemicals at such a rate for a limited time, oh. eventually giving up and turning apathetic. Therefore, Hulk's limitless power could never have existed without his healing factor. It's the key. It allowed his body to continue producing hormones and adrenaline far beyond the norm, theoretically an endless supply thus increasing his superhuman power to an immeasurable degree. So Doomsday overtaxing his healing factor meant the Hulk could no longer maintain his increasing rage and Hulk form. And if you're still wow. skeptical, that's why there's a bunch of times in comics when a huge impact forced the Hulk to turn back into Bruce Banner, including that battle between Worldbreaker Hulk and Sentry. With his healing power beaten down, he literally couldn't keep himself angry enough to stay in Hulk mode. I love science, but there's still one more thing. Thanks to his battles with Superman and other Kryptonians, Doomsday has evolved to a point where it's basically impossible to kill him with brute force alone. So Hulk couldn't have killed him by just getting angry enough to punch harder than Doomsday ever felt. Precisely. Here's the proof. Superman and Doomsday eventually had a rematch, in which Superman was much more powerful than their first battle. Mm. As we've discussed before, Superman's power is also potentially limitless by way of continually absorbing solar energy. And at this point in his story, he'd begun to discover that. But try as he might, despite his increased power, Supes couldn't kill Doomsday with blunt force a second time. Ultimately, Doomsday's immunity to being ripped, impaled, incinerated, blasted with energy, and being beaten by blunt force from both focused and multiple sources means Hulk just didn't have the options available to take Doomsday out before his healing factor was overtaxed. On this day, Hulk met his doom. Do Doomsday. The winner is Doomsday. No. Wow. Next time on Death Battle. Who's that? Who? 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 Ah, oh, Rono Rosaro from One Piece. Who's he gonna hey guys, fight? I'm Ben. I play Wiz. This is Chad. He plays Boomstick. And next up, obviously, it's got to be another swordsman. Definitely. Anyway, guys, there you have it. In my mind, I thought Doomsday had the slighter edge, but I just didn't. I don't, I, I honestly, honestly guys, I did not know, you know, I just, you know, it's like I, it's like I said at the very, they even, even they said it in the, in the video, it was like an immov uh, an immovable object coming, well, it was like a, an unstoppable force coming into a collision with an unremovable unremo object, so I just didn't know, I mean, probably, some of you guys probably sat there and thought, yeah, obviously it's doomsday, it's got to be doomsday, I didn't. Sue me. <laughs> Sue me. But what a fight. It was everything I expected it to be and better.
So thank you so much, Screw Attack, uh, for this. It was mwah, beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, look, thanks very much, guys, for stopping by, checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, don't forget to give us a like if you like this video, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later on the next video. Greek is out. See you later. Not gay. Gay. Are you gay? Are you gay? Wow, students. Okay. Do you like to sleep with men? There.